Car journalists are now saying the new Tesla Model 3 is as good and as refined and basically as luxurious as a Mercedes electric car. Uh, that's not me saying that, by the way, so don't kill the messenger. That's what car journalists are now saying. However, Mercedes are saying, well, hold my beer, Tesla. Check out the new CLA with 466 miles of range. That sounds like a lot. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Mercedes-Benz have invested actually more money into EVs. As far as we know, as a percentage of investment spend, Mercedes have actually invested more in EVs over the last two years than any other car company in the world. Surprising. We don't actually hear this kind of thing. Mercedes are going all in on EVs. In comparison to the other German automakers, Mercedes are taking EVs much more seriously, which is not something we, we really get told. So that's interesting to hear. And Mercedes and BMW's EV sales over the last six months have actually gone up by more than 100% worldwide. Clearly, they think that, well, what they should do, in my opinion, and this is what I would do if I was a CEO. I've several times come out on this channel and I've said I was wrong, right? So I was wrong about the Model 3 having the new M3P battery. We all, th we all thought it would because that there was numerous sources in China saying that they'd been to the factory, it would happen, rah, 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 and it doesn't have the M3P battery. So I'm really disappointed to hear that. I've still ordered one, but I'm disappointed to hear that. But I was wrong on that information. Mercedes-Benz and BMW many times said EVs weren't the future of the automotive industry. I really think that now that they disagree with that completely, and they should just come out and say it. They should just come out and say, yeah, actually, we were wrong. Toyota, shut the hell up. You're wrong too. Time for you to actually learn the lesson that we learned. Anyhow, at least they seem to have figured things out. Although BMW has been saying recently, they still think hydrogen is the future of the automobile, but it won't happen until the 2030s. Anyway, Mercedes-Benz is about to debut the new CLA EV at the IAA Mobility. They say that it's going to be a revolutionary car. It's going to blow everyone else away. And it's going to have an insane range of 466 miles, which is 750 kilometers. That's WLTC range. The CLA will be the first to ride on Mercedes's new MMA dedicated electric car platform derived from the ultra-efficient Vision EQXX concept. Now, Mercedes really haven't gotten the heat that they should have. They've been selling EVs that cost more than 80,000 US dollars now for years that don't even have a heat pump. Now, I've read these kinds of comments, guys. There's a significant lack of education about EVs. People think if it's a Mercedes-Benz, it must be the premium, it must be the best. Guys, it wasn't until three months ago that the Mercedes-Benz EQS even had a heat pump in the United States. So just because it has a Mercedes-Benz badge on it doesn't equal technological superiority. It doesn't equal the best. You need to really do your homework. It doesn't even mean that it's going to be an electric car only platform. Now, there's still a lot of comments on places like forums, um, Facebook groups and things where people say things like, oh, it's a Mercedes, so I went and bought it. Um, I It's better than Tesla. Um, no, don't get me wrong. That's not actually sometimes true, but it's often not. And in fact, I've made numerous videos saying, yeah, Mercedes have some good EVs. Some of them are good, some of them are not. Some of them, they have a transmission tunnel, but no transmission. Is that good? Is that luxury? Is that quality when you know that your car is actually an internal combustion engine car that's been kind of slap dashed into an EV? That, my friends, is not luxury. But this car, you gotta say this is different. This is luxury. I think it will be. It's a purely electric vehicle. It won't be heavy like, <laughs> Other Mercedes-Benz cars are. It should have much better efficiency. Now, some of Mercedes' best-selling EVs right now are just not that good. They aren't. Their, their range, their efficiency, uh, their cost for what you're getting, it's not that good. But I think Mercedes is about to really up their game. They've invested a ton of money, and it certainly will pay dividends within the next two years. This is one of the cars that I think is going to prove that. Why? Efficiency. The efficiency of this vehicle, I think, pretty well shows the Mercedes-Benz have invested in a dedicated EV platform that will be much lighter and really have technological advantages over the competition. Not all of the competition, maybe, but certainly over a lot of it, which you can't really say today about most of the cars, EVs that Mercedes. This new CLA will have efficiency of 12 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. That would be industry leading. Now, Tesla Model 3 right now is at about 13. But this would up the game even further. So that's great if that happens. That, you know what? This is the kind of technological innovation we want to see. Why? Because it pushes, it, it pushes companies 
to get better. Now, people blindly buying a Mercedes-Benz, BMW, or an Audi, just blindly buying it simply because of the badge, they are a problem. If you do that, you are just supporting non-competitiveness. We don't want that. We want companies to be rewarded for making good products. If you don't make a good product, you shouldn't have people buying it just because of the badge on the on the on the car. That supports that supports um, you know being lazy. So fortunately, people are in general speaking with their wallets. They're buying whatever the best car is for the money. Unfortunately, there's still a fair few badge snobs. They still think of it as Mercedes, it's great. And if it's whatever brand, it's great. Walk into a dealership, don't even read a review. In my opinion, that's crazy. Now I get doing that for something on Amazon costing $100, but when are you gonna spend 100,000 US dollars? Damn, I mean, that seems a bit crazy. So it seems to me as though companies are pushing each other and that's what's happened here with the new CLA. That's what's leading to a better product with this kind of range, this kind of efficiency. Even Mercedes-Benz have acknowledged what I'm saying here. They said, we will massively elevate our offering in this segment. Developed from scratch on our newly dedicated MMA platform, all of these models are designed to fulfill one mission, redefining every aspect of what customers can expect in this format. Now you can see that this new Mercedes-Benz, it looks very different to the internal combustion CLA. That's a good thing. It should be different. We don't, want, we, don't, we don't want the same car. We don't want it to be built on the same platform as most of Mercedes-Benz previous EVs were. Uh, anyway, you can clearly see the brand's badge, the LED headlights, and you can see the center grille there. Now, Mercedes says the new model represents the company's vision to elevate the segment through aesthetic and extraordinary design, long range efficiency, pioneering innovation, sustainable materials, and an entirely new operating system the MB operating system. Now we will know full details on the range uh, on the, around about the 5th to the 10th of September, at some point in the time during that period, Mercedes-Benz, we're gonna have the car on show, the IAA Mobility Forum, and then they'll actually reveal the full details. Visitors will also be able to see the Mercedes-Benz entire lineup, the new EQB, which I think is okay, but um, reviews are a bit mixed on that. EQA, which is, not a car I would recommend to anyone, and the EQV. In addition, the EQE, which is pretty impressive, EQS, which is very impressive, EQS SUV, which is also very impressive, but very expensive, and the Vision 111 show car will be shown as well. Plus, you can actually get a ride in the Vision EQXX, which is a concept car, but it's that car that they were able to hyper mile before about a thousand miles. Looks pretty insane. I'm actually a pretty big fan of what Mercedes-Benz is doing into the future. I'm not a huge fan of what they make today. I think it's a bit overpriced for what you get. But within a few years time, I think all the money that Mercedes-Benz are investing into EVs will pay dividends. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.